there's two really, really big exciting areas to consider when you think about how technology is going to work. I think the first one is how the health service and how the social care service uses the information that we already have better to help us make better decisions to support people and families. So at the moment we've got a health record that's held in general practice on a computer and in hospital mostly on paper and in social services on a mixture of both. And what our patients are telling us and what our service users are telling us is that they're sick and tired of telling the story a million times. So by joining up that information we can make it much, much easier for our professionals, be them social workers, doctors, nurses, community workers, whatever, to make really good decisions based on all the information they need to know at the time when they need to know it. So in a medical setting, you're thinking somebody wheeled into A&E very poorly in the middle of the night that's on a truckload of medications and can't remember what all the tablets are. It's very quick then and easy for an accident and emergency doctor to access the information that they need, as long as the patient consents to it. Likewise, if you are a social worker looking after a frail elderly person and you've got to make a decision about long-term care, to have access to all of that information at the time without that poor patient undergoing five or six assessments like they do now, is to help hugely it's going to make the patient journey easier and it's going to make our system a lot more efficient and save some money so that's one part of it i guess the other bit is how we use technology to actually help people stay well and stay independent and stay at home and that's by using some of the gizmos that we've already got out there liverpool's the leading city in europe for using technology to keep people at home and we've got stuff that plugs into tellies we've got stuff that can um, support people to stay well and prevent accidents at home that will absolutely help the system stay well because it keeps people out of hospital and that saves money but also that power that people have from managing their own condition and from improving the way they care for themselves can be anything from a one cup kettle that stops them burning themselves through to a, a fancy device like an iphone or an ipad that you can use to monitor your own blood pressure and have have conversations across the internet with with your doctor or your nurse or your carer about how you manage that condition